Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we are going to talk about three different projects that you should explore to become a master in Django. Now these three projects will help you to explore different concept, different integration, as well as different errors. I have selected these three after looking at variety of different tutorial. So the first one I strongly recommend is to build a to-do application. Now this to-do application will help you to understand CRUD functionality which is create, retrieve, update, delete. And also it will help you to understand authentication deployment. So create a simple to-do application, try to integrate CRUD functionality, follow MVT architecture, then implement authentication and then deploy it either on Heroku, DigitalOcean, Python Anywhere or maybe Amazon AWS. Now this complete project will help you to start your journey with Django with a stronger foundation. You will get lot of understanding about Django core concept. Also, you will explore lot more about deployment, authentication and lot other factors. So this one is quite important if you are a proper beginner. The second application that I strongly recommend is to build a clone of Quora. Now Quora is a simple social media application that work like question answer system with the help of like and dislike that is upvote and downvote. And there is a specific feature called bookmark. Now this is a simple application but you have to mix a lot of things to increase your level. So first thing you have to do is create a simple web application which has question answer facility. Then you need to integrate the authentication system. Then you need to add like and dislike feature and then you need to integrate mailing system. So there should be a mailing system for registration. There should be a mailing system for forgot password and for certain different cases. The second feature that I strongly recommend is social login. Someone who can log in with their Google as well as Facebook account. So this is something important and you can integrate that. Now while implementing social login, you have to understand a lot about API, developer account and lot other things. So there are a lot of the factors that you have to understand. The third feature that I really want to integrate is CAPTCHA. Now you have Google CAPTCHA, their API and lot other facilities. So you can work on capture feature. So whenever someone is going to register, you should add a capture feature, capture fill in, even for login. So you can integrate this. This will help you to explore a lot more about API. So this is quite hard, but if you want to work with security and understand a lot of the factors, a two factor authentication is quite common with big companies nowadays. So if you can implement this, you will have a lot more understanding regarding security API and your Django web application. So these are four common things that I strongly recommend someone who is advanced in Django to explore. The third project that I recommend is a self project. Now what is mean by self project? Try to find a real problem or try to find a paid application and try to clone it. Like I was using bit.ly. So bit.ly as an application to create short links. Now this is common web application with Django. Creating short links, working with their data, trying to search out different companies, working with unique links, working with graphs. So this is a big application of Django itself. So what I mean is try to create a clone of any paid product or you can start your own imagination own product. So this is something really important for you to understand different phrases. At this point of time, you have created a basic to do application. You have learned it from someone You have basic idea. You have different references. Now with Quora application, you know how to clone other application. You know how to clone different feature of a simple free application. But here when working on a self project, you also understand how to think like a developer. You also understand how to think, how to create new projects, how to create new features. So this is quite important and you have free hand to work with different other stuff. Now this also work very well if you mix this with any paid product. That means chances are if you release this on open source level, people are going to use this one. So these are my three important suggestions where the first one is for beginner level. Second one is for intermediate and advanced level. And third one is for self realization and self development level. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this one was helpful. Now, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to click on subscribe. Don't forget to like and don't forget to comment if you have any doubt or if you want any new video from my side. Thank you for following. Don't forget to catch me on Instagram at shubham.ul where I regularly do Q&A, polls and lot of other stuff regarding computer science and programming. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.